Hello, welcome to another episode of Learning Script Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how do you uh, debug or push transaction failures. So as we have seen before, in the output transaction technique, we often have to uh, provide a so-called SIGHASH pre-image. So how do we get that? So let's use one example we have seen before, the counter contract. So we already talked about the SDK, which got a JavaScript version called script lib. So it has this uh, function called get pre-image export it. So we can uh, call this function with the right parameters. Basically, it gives the current transaction and also the UTXO, including the output amount and also the locking script. So after that, we can print this out. And that's how we get the, if you, this how we can plug into the uh, debugger. So let's see one running example. As we have seen before, where we can run the debugger after we have configured. So here we already have a one example config. Basically, we, we're trying to debug the counter contract. We are giving it, uh, we are saying, we are calling the increment function with this parameters, two parameters. One is the Sikhash per image, and the second is the Satoshi amount. And because same thing here, we have seen before because we are we need internally we we are checking signature, so we have to provide this additional property called the transaction context, including the serialized transaction, and also some other uh, field which I'm not going to cover in detail. So so once we can finish config, we can write the so basic from all these options we run. Try to debug counter. Let's go. Okay, now it succeed because we already put the correct parameters there. So what if uh, we failed at this line? Basically, where our sick hash preimage is not correct. So let's say we can we can change a few things. For example, this is sick hash preimage. We can just. Uh, Originally it was right, now we can change it, for example, to some wrong parameters. And also we can make sure that the Satoshi, now the one part of it is also not good. Let's say change this. So if we debug again, we we'll expect some error. Okay, as we expected. So it stop here, meaning the sig hash per image check failed. So we can run again. And then it shows us not only the typical errors we can see, but also had the special case because for pre-image, it contains many fields. So let's actually go back to the documentation for ID. We can go user menu. We can go to debugger and we can go to exception. That's a section called uh, pre-image check failed. As we have seen before, the pre-image, if we just uh, do not specially handle it, it will just show the hex format, which has 10 fields, and it's very difficult to see which which uh, fields cause a, er cause a mismatch, right? So here, we we do uh, deserialize all the field, and also we show you that if only the different ones that do not match out of all these 10 fields. So as one example here, that's what we are seeing here. So basically we are seeing two fields that mismatch. One is the hash output, the other one is the script code. Because script code is a very long, can potentially very long. So we also do a diff of these two. So in this case, you can easily see is the last field, which we changed earlier from zero, zero, to one one, so this also show you in color which part it fails. So this give you a much better idea why the check pre image fail instead of just showing it fails. 
at line 8 without giving you much more details. So here, there's more hint here to help, to help you pinpoint where exactly it go wrong. So I hope this helpful and I will see you in future videos. Thank you.